Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video I'm going to be doing an updated hair care routine for you guys. I get a lot of comments on like all my videos asking for an updated hair care routine and I just haven't done one because nothing had changed in my hair care routine since the last video I made. But recently you guys know I've been trying a lot of new products, testing them out for you guys and seeing if it's worth the hype or not. So a lot of my products have changed and I now found a routine that I absolutely love and I wanna share with you guys what I do to try and repair my hair. I do have a lot of damage. My hair is currently growing out. I'm on the uh, hair care journey of 2022. So I do have a lot of breakage, but all of my hair is now starting to become healthy and it's doing a lot better than it was before. I'm just taking a lot better care of my hair. So I want to share all the products I use and these are my favorite products I found so far. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know I will leave a link to all the products I'm mentioning in the description down below in case you guys want to try them for yourselves. I highly recommend. So my hair care routine actually changes quite often. It just depends on if it's summer or if it's winter or if I have colored hair or if I have blonde hair. So I have broken down like everything for you guys because I've been using the same products for a while, but if I have colored hair, I'm obviously gonna use a different shampoo and conditioner than I would if I just had blonde hair or if I'm trying to fade hair color. So I wanna make sure to include every single product I use even if I have colored hair or if I have blonde hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start out when I have rainbow hair or vivid hair and I'm trying to preserve it. Most of the time when I have neon rainbow hair, I don't want it to fade and I want it to last a long time. So the first thing I do is shampoo and conditioner. And for that, I have been using the same ones for a long time. I use X Mondo, I use polychrome color extending shampoo and the color extending conditioner, you guys can see I have used some of these. These are actually my second bottles. A lot of these products I have already run through and I've repurchased because I love them so much. So the reason why I choose these ones to use when I have colored hair is because they are sulfate free and paraben free and gluten free. Um, so they're not going to lather as much on your hair as something that is concentrated or that has sulfates in it. I love using shampoo that has sulfates when I don't have color just to like really feel that cleanliness. Sulfate free shampoos don't have the harsh detergents that foam up a lot. So you're not gonna get as much foamy frothiness when you're shampooing your hair. It's really important when you have colored hair to get a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So I have these, that's what I like to use in the shower when I have colored hair. One of my absolute favorite deep conditioners that I like to use when my hair's rainbow, when it's blonde, in the summertime, it doesn't matter. This conditioner has been a constant in my life for a very long time. I've probably purchased like five or more bottles of this. This is the generic conditioning balm um, from Sally Beauty. It's a generic brand and it's compared to Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm. This is so, so good. It's, I think it's like $11 or something for this big thing. Um, it's super, super affordable. It's so incredibly thick. It's not like a regular conditioner. So like the X Mondo one is a little bit more runny. It's just like a normal based conditioner. This one is a super thick like conditioning mask. It is amazing. I'm telling you guys, I've repurchased this so many freaking times. I can't even tell you. This is my go-to deep conditioner that I get at Sally Beauty. Now we're gonna move on to products I use when I have blonde hair or if I don't care if the color gets faded. You know, it's not necessarily trying to fade it, but you know, I'm fine with the fade out process and I just want to have clean, good feeling hair. And that is the Acidic Bonding Concentrate from Redken. You guys know I just tried this. I've been using it for quite a while now. Every time I shower, I literally cannot use any other shampoo but these because the way they make my hair feel, I've never had products this good. If I could recommend any products to you ever, it's this Redken line. I'm telling you guys, I've been using it for like a month now. It's just unbelievable. Every single time I wash my hair, it makes my hair feel amazing. I could have dry, damaged hair going into the shower and coming out of the shower, my hair feels so much better. So I highly, highly recommend these. These are the newest products that I've added into my hair care routine and I definitely feel like they make a difference and I highly recommend. So I use these two in the shower. I go ahead and do the shampoo first and then I do this spray right here. This is the acidic pH sealer. This is a um, professional product so you guys 
guys wouldn't be able to get your hands on it, but it's just an added step. You guys don't need to do this, but I shampoo, I spray this all over my hair, and then I like to put the conditioner on top and then wash my body and rinse everything out. If I'm trying to fade my hair and I'm actively trying to get the color out of my hair, there are a couple things I like to use in the shower. One is Malibu Undo Goo. It has a pH of nine, so it's gonna help strip out the color. This is quite damaging to your hair because it does have a higher pH, so I don't like to use that very often. My favorite go-to um, the dander shampoo is the Equate Green Apple Dander Shampoo. I'll include a picture on screen because I just ran out of it, but that is my absolute favorite dander shampoo. I love the way it smells. I feel like it does a great job at stripping out the color. It's also only like $5.95 for that huge bottle. Like it's so affordable. I like to mix that with like some of this and then put it all in my hair and let it like sit on my hair while I wash my body if I'm trying to fade out color. And then I follow up with this deep conditioning treatment or a different deep conditioning treatment. Something that's really gonna repair the damage and make my hair feel soft after drying it out, trying to fade the color. You guys know that I just tested this Coco and Eve mask in my last video. It's a good mask, so I will use this every once in a while, but I don't use it like religiously. It's just kind of a, if I run out of another product, I'll go ahead and use it. And if you don't wanna spend a lot of money on that mask, get yourself this one. Cheap, affordable, and you get a lot more product. It works amazing. It smells so good. I'm telling you what, that conditioner's bomb. So now we're gonna move on to products I put in my hair after I get out of the shower. This is gonna be like my leave-in conditioners, my styling products, my oils, any treatments. The first thing I do when I get out of the shower is go in with K18. This is the first product I used. I have used all of this now. It is completely empty, so I'm not using it anymore, but I used this for months and months, and I really, really love this product. It is super expensive, but I feel like it's definitely worth it, especially if your hair is damaged. $75 for this little tiny thing, kind of ridiculous, but this is a product that I think is worth saving your money and getting. I went through that whole bottle, so I'm no longer using that, but that was a product that I was using for a long time. I'm probably not going to repurchase it as of right now because I have other products that I feel like are kind of replacing this. The Redken line and then also Olaplex I'm using, so I'm not gonna purchase this right now, but after I run out of some of my other products I'm using, I might go ahead and repurchase it. It's just so expensive. I don't wanna spend $75 on one product. Like, <sighs> makes me feel sick to my stomach. So of course I use my Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. This is a leave-in conditioner. I love this. If I could recommend one product, out of any of these, this would be like my top two or three products. If you can't afford like the shampoo and conditioner that goes along with this line, I would at least get this because even if my hair feels dry getting out of the shower, as soon as I put this on, it makes my hair feel amazing. It detangles my hair. My hair blow dries faster. Like it's just a miracle product in my opinion. So I would definitely recommend getting this. So what I like to do is mix my X Mondo Electric Rain in with this. These are both like cream type um, leave-in conditioners. So I just do a little squirt of each of these, mix them together and put this on like all the blonde parts of my head. Then I like to go in with the Hydromania. This is just another leave-in conditioning mist. I don't think you need both of these. One or the other would be fine, and I would recommend the cream over the spray just because this is really thick, so it's a little bit harder to spray out of the bottle. This is just more user-friendly. But I like to go ahead and spray this all over my hair. So after I get done with all of my leave-in conditioning treatments, I like to go ahead and apply my oil, and I use this X Mondo Viper Smoothing Oil. And as you can see, I only have like the tiniest bit left up here at the top. I love this oil. This is my second bottle. I already have a third one waiting for me to go ahead and use. Um, and if you guys have never heard me talk about Ex Mondo products, I think they're amazing products. Also, the main reason I use them, not only does it make my hair feel good, but the smell of the products. I've talked about this so many times. I've never found products I love the smell of more than Ex Mondo products. They make my mouth water. I love the smell of them. They leave like a nice fragrance on your hair. So like when you're walking, the wind hits you, you can like smell the Ex Mondo products. And I just love the fragrance so much. And I will probably use those products till I die because I love the fragrance and I love the way they make my hair feel. So that is all for leave-in products. And then I go ahead and I do styling. So most of the time I let my hair air dry. I pretty much never blow dry it. I would say I blow dry it maybe like twice a month to be honest, I really don't blow dry it unless I have to do it for a video to show you guys the results of something. Some of my leave-in products have heat protectant in them, so I don't have to add anything else additional once I blow dry. So once my hair is dry and I want to style it, I use this L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. 
Um, I've used this, I don't even know, probably like five years or more. I love this. I've repurchased it so many times. I like the smell of it. It's L'Oreal product. So when I'm in the store, I try and gravitate towards like a L'Oreal product because again, they are partners with Redken. So I feel like the product is a little bit better quality. It's just a heat protectant spray. So if I curl my hair, I will take a section. I'll go ahead and spray it and then I'll go ahead and curl it just so that way I have that added protection. Once I'm done styling my hair, if I'm doing curls, I'll go ahead and take this X Mondo Force Field Heat Shield. This helps the curls to hold their shape a little bit more and it just adds that little bit extra fragrance to your hair. I love it. So once I rake out my curls, the last product I use is this this Pulp Riot Los Angeles um, finishing spray. It's kind of similar to like a dry shampoo texturizing spray. This smells amazing. I'm actually gonna smell it real quick because, oh my gosh. I love the smell of Pulp Riot products and this smells like the all of their color line. I just love it. Like Ex Mondo fragrance is number one. Pulp Riot fragrances are number two. I love this. It's just like a finishing spray. It's going to create a lot of texture for your hair. So once I rake out my curls, if I want them to be a little bit more PC, I'll go ahead and I'll take this and just spray it through here and like, you know, make my hair a little bit thicker. If I feel like my ends are kind of sticking together and they're kind of looped into one curl or one wave pattern and I just want to break that up a little bit. I just take this spray on my ends and kind of like roughen up my hair and you guys can see the difference already. This side is a little bit more smooth and uniform. This just gave me a lot more body and pieciness. This would be great if you have like um, a mullet or a wolf cut or something that's like really piecey and you want like the definition in the pieces this would be amazing. And it is more of like a dry based product. So I feel like it helps absorb some of your natural oils, which growing out my hair, um, I accumulate oils a lot faster than I did when I was bleached all the way up to the roots. So this kind of helps absorb oils and stuff while also giving you nice PC texture. If I have colored hair, I do not wash my hair very often. So I use this dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo in the fragrance Fresh. It's actually almost completely empty because I've gone through this whole container, but I like to use this dry shampoo um, at my roots when I have colored hair and I'm trying to skip washes. Now that I have blonde hair and I have all of this rootage, I wash my hair whenever I want to. I wash it like, I would say I wash my hair like two to three times a week now just because my roots are so healthy and they get oily a lot faster. But when my hair is bleached all the way to the root, um, it doesn't get oily as quickly and I want to preserve my color. I wash my hair like once a week, once every two weeks, and I use this in between to keep my hair like not oily. So I have one more product line for you guys. Um, I have not started incorporating this yet, but I plan on incorporating it in my hair care routine very shortly. Now that I'm out of the K18, I'm going to start doing Olaplex treatments. This is something I'm going to do like once a week, once every two weeks. It's not going to be me in the shower doing it in there. It's just gonna be like a self-care thing I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take like an hour of my time and do these treatments on my hair and just watch TV or paint my nails or do something like that, you know? It's not like uh, I'm getting ready to go somewhere and this is included in my hair care routine. This is just an extra side step that I'm gonna start incorporating. So actually my hairstylist Catherine got me this Olaplex number zero treatment. She also got me this Hair Perfector number three. And then on top of all that, she got me this Olaplex 4-in-1 um, moisture mask. So I'm gonna start doing standalone Olaplex treatments. I think I now have almost all the steps. I have step zero, I have step one, I have step two, step three, and then I have this mask. This is a lot of Olaplex products. So I'm gonna start doing treatments once a week, once every two weeks, just using the Olaplex treatments. So yeah, I'm gonna start incorporating this into my hair care routine soon, but I have not done that yet. So obviously my hair care routine is focused on repairing damage and hydrating the hair because that's what my hair needs. Obviously get hair care dedicated to what your hair needs and what you do to your hair. Like if you dye it often, obviously you're gonna need some of the same products I use. If you have virgin hair, you probably don't need to go to the extent with all the products that I use. Obviously I have all these products because I've done a lot to my hair and I'm trying to fix it as I continuously do damage to it. So I love all these products. Again, if I could recommend just a couple to you guys, I would say K18, the Redken line. And if you can only get one thing and you don't have a lot of money, 
I love this deep conditioner. It's so, so good and it smells nice. So that is all for my hair care routine right now on that healthy hair 2022 journey, baby. Roots are growing in nicely. Hair is becoming good again and it's growing slowly but surely it's growing hopefully my hair is this long one day and i won't have to wear extensions anymore probably not but i can always be hopeful that is all for today's video again i will leave a link to all the products i mentioned in the description down below for you guys don't forget to check out my instagram the link to that is in the description down below i post way more of my everyday life on there give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and until next time guys stay weird bye